Vatican City, the world's smallest state, is traditionally a country run by men, more specifically the priests of the Catholic Church. Women at the Vatican are few and far in between, especially in leadership positions. But even in a community so entrenched in tradition, that notion is changing day by day. Among the crop of emerging women leaders is Marta Lago, the Spanish journalist serves as an editor for the Spanish language version of the Osservatore Romano. For a woman to be given so many responsibilities at the Vatican is truly something new, but it's happening more often. I don't think it's a matter of appointing women, but instead of incorporating lay members within the Vatican. Because really, there are posts that don't have to be filled by clergy. They can be done by professional lay members where you'll find many women. The Osservatore Romano is the official newspaper at the Vatican. It is published daily in Italian and weekly in English, French, German, Portuguese and Spanish. But among them, the Spanish edition has a very particular challenge. Getting the message out to an audience as diverse as all the Spanish-speaking countries of the world is relatively easy because the language of the church is universal. There are no geographical, cultural or religious limits. It's a universal message because it's the message of the church, the pope, the holy see and the apostolic see. The sensibility is obviously special for Spanish-speaking countries, but that doesn't mean we withhold information from them and vice versa. Her new position at the newspaper is not without merit. Lago worked her way up within the Osservatore Romano, where she had been since 2005. She describes it as a natural evolution within the newspaper. Taking on this new role has not been traumatic, so to speak. I'd been the second in command for the Spanish edition, so I'm just continuing to take care of it. I'm responsible for making plans, making changes, signing off on things and duties that are already in place. We need to continue improving as any other media. As we know, no innovation is the death of any medium. Marta Lago says her post comes with great responsibility, but she adds that she can contribute a touch of feminine intuition, not just to the world, but to her work in journalism.